Now, there is a time that has been declared for the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's visit to Jantar Mantar, where he's going to be meeting the protesting wrestlers. He's going to be heading to the protest site at around 4 p.m. today. Now, remember, we were just talking about the significance of Priyanka Gandhi's visit with the protesters. Now, we are crossing over to CNN News 18's Rupashri Nanda to get us more details. Uh, Rupashri, now we're learning that uh, Arvind Kejriwal is going to be meeting the protesters at 4 p.m. Absolutely. And yesterday, uh, actually, two of his uh, ministers, uh, Saurabh Bhardwaj and Atishi, had also met uh, the protesting uh, wrestlers. And uh, uh, Atishi especially had launched a very sharp attack against uh, the union uh, ministers, you know, uh, from the BJP. And uh, had actually, uh, you know, targeted them, asking why justice has uh, not been done. Uh, remember, in this particular case, uh, after, uh, you know, the uh, Supreme Court's intervention, two FIRs have finally been launched. Have finally be, uh, been uh, lodged. And also remember that uh, this particular uh, protest is now becoming a sort of uh, a point where opposition parties are galvanizing themselves. Like, uh, for instance, uh, you know, Mamta Banerjee has said that she would come. Uh, Priyanka Gandhi is going. Arvind Kejriwal is going. Brinda Karat has, uh, has already been there. Uh, so essentially it is, uh, you know, it, is, it has the potential of, again, opposition parties versus the BJP. Uh, vis a vis uh, the you know the issues that the uh, uh, wrestlers have uh, raised over here now this is not to take away from the seriousness of the issue because these are very very serious allegations and in our country we have very stringent uh, laws against uh, you know sexual harassment and and these have and these uh, uh, you know allegations have to be probed and they have to be done in a fair and transparent manner so that those who are raising the allegations uh, they, uh, their fears are, uh, you know, uh, put to rest and justice is done uh, uh, for them. But yes, uh, um, uh, the protest is actually attracting more and more political parties from the opposition and uh, uh, has given the opposition parties, a, 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 you know, a handle uh, to target the BJP with. All right, Rupashi, thank you so much for giving us those details. Remember, the Delhi chief minister is going to be meeting the wrestlers at the protest site uh, at 4 p.m. today. We're crossing back over to CNN News 18's Nikhil Lakwani. Uh, Nikhil, so an array of political visits, Priyanka Gandhi earlier this morning, then we also have the Delhi chief minister later today. You had said specifically, and this is what the protesters have said, that they're not going to be vacating the site as asked to by the Delhi police until all of their demands are met. Can you go through all of the wrestlers' demands? Well, uh, this is something which the wrestlers have been saying yesterday. A press conference was held at about 4 p.m. by all the protesting wrestlers where they clarified that uh, just a part of the demand has been met uh, as far as the registration of FIR is concerned. But there are uh, yet uh, many of the steps which are to be taken against Bridge Bhushan, Sharan Singh. So until entirely the matter is solved, till that time they are not going to call off the protests. And also they have said one such important point here. They said that they have no faith in the Delhi police. Had there been any of the faith, the Delhi police have registered the FIR in the very first place at the time when the complaint was filed. So to file a complaint, one has to reach out at the door of the Supreme Court. So this is the reason why they are saying if any of the evidence has to be submitted, they are going to submit uh, in front of the apex court. This is the first deficit which has been shown by the wrestlers. So now all the eyes are on the Delhi police. And there is clearly some pressure which is mounting from the Delhi police, uh, from the uh, other corners to the Delhi police as well. This is the reason why we are expecting and this is what we are assuming that now they are going to start the investigation. Finally, the action will be seen because at the time of January, remember, the oversight committee was formed for which the uh, report was also submitted, which is not yet made public. Uh, and it is also not uh, something which has been shown to the wrestlers as well, for which the wrestlers continue to maintain that they have been deceived, uh, not by not just by the oversight committee, but also by the sports ministry as well. So this is the reason why they are not taking any of the word from Anurag Singh Thakur, who is the sports minister at the moment. Although uh, we have seen, we have heard the bite of Anurag Thakur as well. He maintains that many a times, in fact, 12 is the number which has been given by Thakur, where he has said, uh, that the wrestlers were called in, but uh, something concrete did not come out. So, and any of the recommendation, if has to, if uh, has to be given uh, by the oversight committee, it is being followed by the sports ministry as well. But clearly, we can see that there is trust deficit from the side of the wrestlers. This is the reason why this time they are not going to call off their protest. They are also in no mood to connect with the ministry as well. Uh, at the start of the protest, few days back when they yet again sat on the protest. Uh, SAI, 
Ports Authority of India had sent out their highest official to mm -hmm. uh, start the communication between both the parties. But at that time, even the wrestlers were reluctant. But now one of the government has been met, but they maintain that until the time which Bhushan Charan Singh is removed from each and every post, including that of Member of Parliament, and the action is taken in terms of the arresting of Sharan, till that time they are not going to call off the protest. And now we are gradually seeing that the momentum is being gained by the wrestlers, the protests as well. We are seeing different kind of developments. Uh, High-level support has also been received by them, not just from the political uh, single party, but there are a couple of opposition political parties who are back-to-back -back extending their support. They are sending their delegation as well. If we talk about the developments which broke out yesterday, we have seen that the de delegation of the Aam Army Party, the mm -hmm. delegation of Congress Party, the delegation of PMC Party as well, all have sent their representatives to meet the protesting Wrestlers. And today we are expecting that at, at about 4 p.m., the Chief Minister of National Capital, Arvind Kejival, is going to extend his support. So gradually we are seeing that it is going to gain the momentum. And this morning we have already seen the visual, Saisha, that how Priyanka Gandhi, what were the Congress General Secretary, she has also uh, sent out her support to them in person. So this is surely going to give a boost to the wrestlers because they somewhere or the other lost their hope. Uh, from the system, but after the matter, when it reached out at the mm -hmm. doorstep of the apex court, they are finding a ray of hope uh, that finally some kind of action will be seen against Ms. Bhushan Sharan Singh. But on the other side, speaking of Mr. Sharan, who is WFI president, you see, and if you go by the bite which is given by him, he seems to be pretty confident. Uh, this is something which is evident when you hear uh, him speak. He has been saying that he welcomed the move by the Supreme Court over the registration of the FIR, which has been said by the Delhi Police. He has been saying, I have no problem with the Delhi Police. I welcome what has been mentioned in the Supreme Court, and I am going to fully cooperate with the Delhi Police officials as well. So this is something which sends out a message uh, at large that he seems to be pretty confident. Yesterday he was in the city of Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh. Today, we have been given to understand that he is in Gonda, city of Uttar Pradesh. So he okay. has a uh, you know majority in that particular area. He is the member of parliament from Kesaganj constituency. But now we need to see that how the Delhi police is going to proceed with the overall matter. Because once the FIR has been registered, which is already done yesterday, the copy will be shared. The sections will also be shared by the Delhi police as to what kind of uh, the relevant sections have been pressed in against Grace Bush and Sharan Singh. Finally, we will see that the action to be taken by the Delhi police in terms of the statements which will be recorded. Thereafter, we will see that how the investigation proceeds in this particular case. Back to you. All right, Nikhil, thank you so much for giving us that comprehensive overview of the story. We're now going to listen in to what Bridge Bhushan had to say earlier today. अभी एफआईआर की कॉपी मेरे पास नहीं है एफआईआर की कॉपी जब आ जाएगी तब बोलेंगे नो कमेंट नो कमेंट नो कमेंट एफआईआर की कॉपी जब मेरे पास आ जाएगी तब मुझको जो बोलना हो बोलेंगे नो आप बोलिए आप बोलिए मैं अभी नहीं बोलूंगा we're going to continue to track the developments in this story, but for right now, that's the end of this bulletin. Do stay tuned for the latest updates and developments on the biggest stories of the day. Thank you for watching.